For Christmas of 2015, I traveled to Pennsylvania, which is where I'm originally from. Spent some time with my family for the Christmas activities and all that, but I also got to spend some time building the project with my brother. He recently built a house and needed a bench for the entryway of their house. We had some barn wood that was salvaged from my grandpa's barn when it was taken down. We decided this would be perfect to use for this bench. Here's how we built it. These boards are cut from some hemlock trees that were harvested from the woods on my grandpa's property. The hemlock trees were harvested and cut on site on a portable sawmill. We've salvaged a bunch of them from the barn that was taken down and we're going to get started to build this bench. First thing we're going to do is remove a few nails. Now we're going to mark out our length and cut it off with a circular saw. Now using the miter saw, we're gonna cut our three legs. Since this bench is for the entryway where you're gonna tie your shoes or Whatever it is you need to do, we figure we might as well better try this out. It's not bolted together yet or anything, but we gotta make sure the height is good, and it is perfect. 18 inches to the seat height, spot on. Carry on after he ties his shoe. You ready now? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Now it's back to the miter saw. We're gonna cut some 45 degree triangles to use as supports for the legs. After a little bit of layout and some wood glue, it's time to set the base onto the legs. Oh, mine's, mine shifted a little, but hey, there we go. Well, let's just get one at a time then here. <laughs> mine's a little uh, bowed on this side. Let me hold these boards in place. I'm a human clamp. Here we go, putting holes in wood. We pre-drilled the wood to avoid any splitting. Quick check. You're upside down. Am I? <laughs> there we go. Let me know when you're ready for a clamp. 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 Now we'll just screw on all the legs. Now we'll just flip the bench over and we'll screw on the brackets that support the legs. A little bit of wood glue and some screws will hold it on there really well. We had to get a little bit creative in our clamping methods in order to keep these legs nice and square. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we need to do something else to it. Well, as luck would have it, our nice new repurposed barn wood happens to have a nice bow in it, so we've got a little wobbling issue with our legs. So we're gonna try to square up this center leg with the circular saw, and hopefully that'll take care of the problem. After much adjusting with the saw and the sander, I think we got this warp taken care of. Now on the table saw, we're gonna cut down some strips to use as kind of a molding to go around the bottom edge of the bench. It's a little smoky in here. I think our saw blade is just a wee bit dull. Now we'll just cut some mitered angles on these trim pieces. I 
on the money. We'll use some wood glue and some finishing nails to hold on this little trim piece. I'll hit like it, it, I promise. Huh? I'll hit that, I promise. My finger? Oh, yeah. I hope you don't. After we finished the assembly, we hauled it upstairs and put it into place. We ran out of time to film a video of the final product, but we were able to get a few pictures before it was time to head back home. The only thing left to do to complete the bench is to give it a rough sanding and put on a coat of clear. We're both really happy with the way this bench turned out. It fits the space perfect and looks great. I really like how we were able to use the front edge of this wood without having to route any profile on there. The way it's contoured and worn away is really nice. It's a really simple design. We didn't spend a lot of time trying to make it fancy or anything. We just wanted to keep it really simple and it came out really, really great. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I do have some nice off cuts from this project that I was able to bring home with me that I already have some projects in the works. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss these projects. This one is going to be a cool one I've been waiting to do for a long time. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. I usually I stand in front of the camera for a minute or two going. <laughs> kind of like you are now? Yeah. Only you got somebody else to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> so in order to build this bench, first thing we're going to start with is a bunch of barn boards that were salvaged from my grandpa's barn in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I have a hard time with this. <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> This is a lot harder than to see this, huh? Hey, you're doing the talking. <laughs> These boards are good. <laughs> it's level down here. <laughs> well, as long as it is down there, it's all that matters. <laughs> we didn't glue that one. Oh man. Or wait, did I? No, no you didn't. You didn't. Shucks. <laughs> what are you doing?